Hey guys and welcome to Toy Review TV for a The Amazing Spider-Man 2 action figure review. This is from the Builder Figure Collection in which you can uh, create your very own Green Goblin figure if you do collect all of the figures in this series which is from the Marvel Legends Infinite series and this is The Amazing Spider-Man himself of course the main guy himself Spider-Man this is made by Hasbro with an age recommendation of four years and upwards and will cost in the region of a 16 and 99 to purchase we do get an arm and a flame piece there from the green goblin figure there are six of these figures in this wave and we do get interchanging hands as well with uh, the spider-man action figure there is the green goblin completed does show you the numbers which correspond to the figures on the rear so you know exactly which figure you need to collect to get the pieces you are missing. There are six in this wave of figures you can see there. This is the third in the series. So let's get this open and see exactly what it looks like. So here is your Spider-Man figure. Six inches in height and does come with these interchangeable web slinging hands as well. I will change those out very very shortly but you can see you can get Spider-Man in some awesome poses the battle already pose there but there are lots and lots of poses you can put this figure in because of all the really cool articulated joints on this figure there are lots and lots of uh, articulated joints on this we do get some really nice detail as well the suit looks really cool especially the head, uh, the eye detail is very good and the head detail especially is one of my favourite parts of this figure. We get nice front and we get nice rear torso detail as well. And then we get the moulded definition to the legs where you can see the muscle just sticking out there on the thighs. So let's have a look at the articulation on this figure. So strap yourself in guys because there is lots of it we get our head movement which you can rock forward and backwards and you can turn that so you can put this head in any position that you would wish to do so now we do have this really cool looking articulation to the shoulder there we have you can see that joint there which does give it lots of movement and then inside that we do have the ball joint as well so that is a twin articulated shoulder joint there so you can get lots of movement from that we also have just above the bicep there we have this twisting joint as well then on the elbow we have the twin hinged joint and then down to the hand we have a twisting and we also have a rocking motion there to that joint so you can imagine guys there isn't really a position that you can't get these arms in lots and lots of scope for display there now onto the torso we have our rocking torso joints which you can rock backwards and forwards and then if that wasn't enough we also get the twisting joint there just above the waistline and then down to the legs we have our joint at the top of the thigh and then we also have the twisting joint just below that at the top of the thigh area there now we also have on the knee joint the same as on the elbow joint we have the twin articulated joint again so you can bend that leg right the way back and we also have a twisting joint there on the calf muscle as well and then down to the feet we have our joint there which you can uh, use to freely move your foot and you can also move it left and right as well so you can put that foot in any kind of position you can have him doing a kung fu kick should you wish to do so so like I say there are lots and lots of different possibilities uh, with display on this figure you also get the peg holes on the bottom as well so if you do have the modern style uh, action figure stands and you do want to do something like a kung fu kick but you can't get spider-man to stand the action figure stand will come in very useful for poses such as this one but let's swap out these hands we do get the clenched fist hands there which you can just snap out easily 
We have now a disabled Spider-Man, but never fear, not for long. He now has his web slinging hands, so if I can just get to those in position, there you go. There is Spider-Man with the web slinging hands in action. And of course, you would want Spider-Man in that kind of pose very, very quickly for the web slinging action feature to be in full effect when Spider-Man is on display. So there you go guys, one awesome looking figure, one of my favourite I would say from this range of action figures. But please do stay tuned guys if you did like this review. I do have a few more of these to go and I also have the Builder Figure Goblin as well to show you right at the end of doing all these reviews. But anyway, thank you very much for tuning into this review and Please do feel free to rate, comment and subscribe and I hope to see you all next time here on Toy Review TV.